Hey, and welcome back to Clean Air on Air, the weekly news roundup brought to you by the Clean Air Action Fund. This week we're talking about Josh Shapiro running for Pennsylvania's governor, India's heat wave, and the U.S.'s plastic recycling rate. Let's get into it. Josh Shapiro, the state attorney general, is the Democratic candidate for Pennsylvania governor and is endorsed by the Clean Air Action Fund. Shapiro is locked in to win the May 17th primary as he is the only candidate on the ballot, but the pressure will be on for the November election. Josh is the only candidate for governor that will create and enact policy that will protect our planet. If elected, he plans to promote solar projects and adopt measures to increase access to renewable energy sources. Shapiro will invest in abandoned wells across across the state to curb emissions and create jobs and invest in zero carbon technology technology and provide financial incentives to help bring zero carbon technologies to commercial readiness. We need to elect a governor who is going to fight for our planet. Five to six percent of the 46 million tons of, of plastics generated annually in the United States get recycled, according to a study from the last beach cleanup and beyond plastics. This percentage also includes additional losses like plastic waste that are collected under the notion of being recycled, but is actually burned. The amount of plastic that Americans generate has increased by 263% from 1980 to 2018. So what does get recycled? Food containers, bottles, jars, detergent and shampoo bottles, and pump and spray bottles can be recycled in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is also a single stream, so when bags and bins are collected and taken to the materials recovery facility, the recyclables are sorted there so you don't have to sort them at home. Plastics are such a finicky thing. South Asia is facing a heat wave like no other. More than 1 billion people in India and Pakistan have endured daytime temperatures as high as 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Delhi has experienced back-to-back -back days of 110 degree Fahrenheit heat. And Nawabsha, Pakistan has come within half a degree of 122 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature where a human body starts to cook. These are the highest temperatures recorded since records began 122 years ago. Folks, the effects of the climate crisis are among us. Thanks for watching. My name is Leanna McNew and I'm signing off for Clean Air on Air. I'll see you all next week.